Hello, I am Sierra and I am the owner and creator of Jaw Jaw Creations and Designs and I want to welcome you to this week's DIY. We are going to show you how to make this ladder cover and I brought my husband here because he had to construct it for me so I could decorate it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm here to show you the materials and how to build it. And my lovely wife, Sierra, is going to finish it off by turning it into a chalkboard. Yay! So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you catch all of our future projects and DIYs. So let's get started! <music> Okay, so we're getting started here. I'm going to build a little ladder blocker, is what I'm calling it, for the uh, bunk beds for the boys. I've got my main board that is going to end up being what blocks Jameson from being able to climb the ladder. Uh, I've got a, four other smaller boards here that uh, we will be using to make a hook with. Um, we've got clamps, liquid nails, drill bits over here, screws, a drill, uh, another clamp in case we need it, uh, of course the level back here in the back, and uh, safety glasses are around here somewhere, we'll find those here in just a minute, um, but I think that's everything that we're going to need to get us started. Uh, there's a few more materials that will be needed later on uh, but this will get us going and I'll be able to get it created and then um, see if it works then we'll finish it up so the first thing I did was to go up and measure the ladder um, to see where we needed to have the hooks and these are the marks that I came up with so starting from the bottom, get this tape measure to work. Anyway, we come up to find that we are right around the 23 inches mark here at the top. Just a little over 23 inches and the next one down is just uh, a little under 11 and 3 quarters so we've got it marked and now what we got to do is put our lovely hooks together which I'll be doing with these four pieces of wood and we'll see you in a minute so we did a little bit of uh, sanding before we're gonna get started. Just want to make sure all the boards have, uh, you know, all the splinters out. Um, don't want the boards getting stuck with splinters. Uh, we don't want rough boards when we're painting. So just wanted to do a little sanding. Got everything nice and smooth. Wiped it down. Uh, just letting it dry a little while. Um, got our drill bit ready. Uh, it's just a little bit smaller than what our screws are. May even drop down one more size. Uh, then I'll have another drill bit that's going to be a little bit bigger, um, <clears throat> so that the drill, the the uh, screw head can countersink down, uh, and we won't have really any screw head sticking up. Um, help keep from any injuries happening. Uh, I've got my clamps ready again. Um, did kind of a test run with it everything seems like it's gonna line up just right so uh, next time we'll probably be videoing putting it together all right Bye. okay so we've gone ahead drilled us some pilot holes sort of messed up on that one but that's okay got this one and they're drilled straight into the ends this one I did pretty good on Got those just right. One hole, see? All right. And we use the clamps, makeshift kind of uh, clamp holder. 
Uh, we got our drill bits. We used two drill bits, teeny tiny one for the pilot hole, and a larger one just so we can countersink our screw in. And we've got our Phillips screwdriver. Um, that's where we're at right now. Next, I will be clamping and liquid nailing these together and putting screws in them. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Okay, so we've got this set up ready. Uh, I've already put the liquid nail in between. I think you can probably see it squeezing out a little bit there. Yeah, just a little bit, not too much. But we're gonna screw this down and tighten it up and leave it to let it set. And then we'll do the same thing for this one and we'll be back okay so I decided to go ahead and put three screws in these uh, these are the hooks that we're going to be attaching to this part and that will allow us to just slip this block ladder blocker right down over the uh, steps on the ladder um, I have the liquid nails in there we've got uh, the screws in these are ready to go um, next we're going to be drilling some pilot holes on this board which you can see i've already got marked uh, i got a bad mark there i x them out but we're going to be putting three screws in here on each one one two and three um and We'll be just about ready to give it a go, see how it works. All right. Okay, so here we are. We've got, I drilled the pilot holes and I went ahead and put the screws in. And here are our hooks attached. They just don't have the liquid nails behind them. So I'm going to take this in and do a quick little test run. Make, make sure that it's gonna fit right. And then I'll come back out and take it apart put liquid nails in and put everything back together and let's set up all right see you in a minute test run is a success looks like this is going to work just fine so i'm going to hey, take this I'm apart and put it all back together with liquid nails okay so we've got these liquid nailed on and screwed in and screwed in on the front um, I'm probably going to fill these screw heads with some liquid nail here in just a little while. Um, actually, I'll probably do it now and let that dry and then sand this down again. Um, I think Sierra is going to um, put some chalkboard paint on it. That way the boys can use it as a chalkboard. So I'm going to fill those and sand it down and we'll almost be done. Okay, so we got the liquid nail out and I filled in these little screw holes. I'm going to let this dry and once it's dried, I'm going to sand it off and it should be ready to be painted. Hey guys, so this is going to be the ladder cover for the bunk bed in the boys room. Um, Dave's made it. This is the final stage that we're at. Well, the stage that we're at. It's prepped. All the holes are filled. Now I just have to prime it. I'm going to prime it with the gesso. I'm going to see how well it covers. It may just need one coat, but I will be sanding it between coats. And then we are going to be putting um, chalkboard paint on it. So it's super fun for them. And then I'll be using my one and a half inch flat brush. So yeah, let's get painting y'all. So here I am just putting on the gesso primer and getting it smoothed out. Need a little help from the hubs here. Now that the primer is dried, I've sanded it down and we are applying our first paint, like first coat of chalkboard paint. Um, this was just one I've got from Walmart, I believe. Now we are going to go ahead and apply our second coat of chalkboard paint and this should complete it. We should be ready for decorations. So here I am using some 
paint pens. They're called painters. I'm pretty sure I got those from Walmart as well. And I'm just doing some like sketch, uh, chalkboard sketches around the edges to frame everything out and make it look cute. Here the completed cover is on the ladder bunk bed and Jasper drawing on it. They absolutely love it. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you all.